This is the first video in the series on reactive programming in Dart and Flutter. In this video we won't have any code examples because I just want to explain the concept of reactive programming. This video will apply to pretty much anyone who wants to learn reactive programming because I'm just going to try and cover the theory which will apply to any language that will use Rx. So what is reactive programming? Well, reactive programming is just programming with asynchronous data streams. Okay, that's nice, but what is a data stream? A data stream is basically an object that emits multiple pieces of data over time. Depending on what language and library you're using, that data stream can have different names. For example, in Dart, it's going to be called a stream. In any of the Rx libraries, the data stream is actually called an observable. So the main thing is that the data stream is an object that can emit data over time. So we can subscribe to that object and whenever a stream emits a new value, we can just use it. Fundamentally, this is kind of the same thing as futures in Dart, except that the future can only provide a single result over a period of time, but the stream can provide zero or more results. Just try to look at a data stream as something that can push multiple pieces of data at different times. In this video I tried to explain the core idea of reactive programming, but keep in mind when we get to the actual code this can get a lot more complex, when you include operators, subjects and that other stuff, which we will cover in the future videos. In the next video we'll have a simple Dart program and we will see how to create and consume a stream.